Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to talk about something that I have experienced during my breastfeeding journey. Um, so basically I think it would be easiest to kind of give you a background story um, of what happened. So we are currently uh, six months postpartum and so right in the beginning my son was having a really hard time latching and we went through a whole process of trying different things and working at it for many months. Um, but around the fourth month I kind of just decided that nursing um, at the breast just really wasn't working out for us and so I decided to um, exclusively pump and throughout this whole time at that point um, I had been pumping every two to three hours and um, just feeding the baby breast milk through a bottle and so that was working out for us but it was something that was really emotional for me it was something really difficult for me to decide on like to make the decision that I'm just gonna like you know, stop trying basically with actually breastfeeding at the breast um, and go ahead and um, just focus on exclusively pumping. And so, you know, that took a long time for me to, to really make that decision that it's okay and I've tried what I could and, you know, it was just something that I really wanted to work out and it didn't really work out. And so it did take me some time to emotionally settle with the fact that we're just gonna exclusively pump. Um, Still till now, I do have days where I feel really bad about it and I just want to be able to breastfeed him at the breast, but you know, it wasn't really meant to be. So I kind of just have to figure out how to be at peace with that. Um, but anyways, when I was around um, the first few days after I had my son, um, I started to realize that whenever I was pumping, I would feel this like really nauseating feel in my stomach. And so, and I, and so like I didn't really know how to um, explain that, but basically what happened was we concluded that it was just um, maybe some negative feelings towards having to pump because I was feeling sad about pumping rather than actually breastfeeding and so I thought that okay maybe um, because of that like you know that kind of feeling with pumping that might be why I'm feeling a little bit nauseated and stuff so um, Months went by and I just continued to feel that and like really nasty feeling in my stomach but slowly it got worse to where every single time I was having a letdown um, where your milk is flowing, I would feel like this sudden feeling of like horrible sadness and guilt and like I, I just felt so nasty and it was not only when I was pumping though which is really interesting, it was also like if I started to leak all of a sudden, like whenever I was having a letdown, I would just feel this horrible feeling. And so sometimes I would be out in public or just, you know, uh, walking around and all of a sudden I would feel this horrible feeling and I'm like, oh, why do I feel so nasty and sad? And then I would be like, oh yeah, I think I'm about to leak and I, I would just start leaking. And so I slowly put that together that like it was um, when I was having a letdown that I would feel this horrible feeling and I would feel really sick. And so it got to the point where I was like one day I was just laying in bed and I was like I cannot do this anymore like I really want my son to have breast milk but I was just so like exhausted of having to go to the pump and know that I was gonna feel this horrible, sad, like depressed, nasty, guilty feeling. And so finally, um, I ended up thinking like, you know what, I don't think this is normal. I'm not, I mean, I was sad, of course, a little bit about not being able to actually breastfeed him, but I knew that my feelings with pumping weren't like so intense to the point that I was actually gonna feel sick. And so I was like, you know what, this isn't, this isn't really normal, I don't think. So finally, after like four months of going through this, I looked it up. And so I got my handy dandy phone as we do these days and I searched why am I feeling this sad feeling <laughs> during letdowns? And so something really interesting came up and it is called DMER. So that stands for dysphoric mouth ejection reflex. And basically what it is, is um, an abrupt dysphoria or negative emotions that occur just before milk releases 
um, and continuing not more than a few minutes. So that's exactly what I was experiencing. I was experiencing um, this feeling, but it would only last, like it, it probably wouldn't even last a, a full minute for me. But anytime it happened, I would try not to talk to anyone or not to have to deal with anyone because I just didn't want to snap. You know, that's not what my personality normally is, but it was making me feel that way, like so irritated. And so finally, when I looked this up, I found a little bit of information. There's not a whole lot out there on it, which is one reason why I wanted to make this video, just to kind of raise some awareness and in case anybody else is feeling this way too, maybe I can help you find a solution as I found for myself. But anyways, I found a website which I will put in the description box below and that kind of gave an inf um, some information, like some background information of why it happens and different types of things like that, as well as a a page um, that gives you some ideas of things you can try. Now there's some things that can be prescribed to you, um, I think through your doctor probably, but I wanted to go the natural route and find some herbs. And so they do have a list of um, like natural remedies. And so I decided to try two different things. And thankfully when I tried these two different things, um, within the first week, like within the first two days, I was already feeling a little bit better. And now, thankfully, I don't deal with that feeling whatsoever as long as I keep up with taking these two things. So one of them is this. It's called Super Rhodiola. And basically, it's just in a vegetarian capsule. And um, I just take one every single day with some water and it seems to be helping me a lot. However, sometimes when I forget to take this one, I don't notice as much of a change as if I stop taking this. This is a mixture of flower essence that I got put together for me at um, a pharmacy that we have. And so what flower essence are, basically if you don't have um, a background understanding of what they are, is basically like the essence of different types of flowers. And so they um, are mixed together for you according to what you feel um, you need help Help with basically so some people take it for anxiety some people take it for all different types of things you can read about the different types of flower um, essence that there are and um, I think there are some online options of um, like people who will put the mixes together for you um, but I'm not 100% sure I just always go to the community pharmacy that we have it's about an hour away from where I live so I go every once in a while but it's really nice to have that um, but anyways um, this is a mixture of it in gl uh, glycerin spring water. I think you can get it made in, um, let's see, I think vinegar and alcohol, but I prefer the glycerin uh, spring and spring water. Um, but anyways, on this page that will be linked in the description box, they give you like a whole list of different flower essence that can possibly help you. But when you're making um, a mixture, it's good to say, I think, and within like five flowers so I just chose things that I felt were most uh, relatable to what I was feeling and um, they thankfully worked very well for me so I chose aspen mustard olive pine white chestnut and yeah that's it so all of that is mixed in the glycerin um, and spring water and so like I said, when I stop taking this, I feel a lot more of a change. Like I, I can start feeling that negative feeling come back, but I do take both of them together and it seems to be a really good mix for me right now. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'm very, very grateful and thankful that I have found a solution to this problem. And I'm so glad that I don't have to deal with this because having to exclusively pump is already pretty difficult. But to have to deal with something like this on top of it, it's really hard. And I know for some moms, you might be breastfeeding and dealing with something like this. And that is really difficult too because there's challenges with breastfeeding already. So to have to feel this feeling of like overwhelmed sadness is is not pleasant whatsoever so I hope that you're able to find some solutions again I will put the link um, of the website that helped me out in the description box below and if you know anybody who has any of these symptoms please do share this video with them I'm really hoping to be able to help some other women who might be dealing with this because it's again not pleasant whatsoever but I hope you take good care and I will see you again soon bye